Okay, this is not technically immediately after the last video, but I am uploading that video now. The person I was expecting to speak to was, it was a short conversation. She's, well, she was pretty much messaging me between shifts, for lack of a better term. So I figured I'd get this out of the way now. It's diet, which I know for most people, well, I shouldn't say for most people. <coughs> but in regards to most people I personally know, diet's an issue for them because they don't like it. Now for me, I'm a type one diabetic. Now I will have sugary sodas and drinks and what have you for this channel. Probably shouldn't, but I mean, I just take an extra shot of insulin to test my blood sugar, adjust accordingly. I've never gotten sick from it. I'm not going to have any long-term effects, so save your ignorant comments in regards to type 1 diabetes to yourself. And if you happen to be a diabetic, whether type 1 or type 2, keep your comments to yourself anyways. I've been, I know what I'm doing here. But anyways, in regards to, well, in regards to diet versus regular anyways, I can understand why people don't like diet, but I find when it comes to the more mainstream and the more cheaper sodas than the, or in Canada we call them soda or pop. I know in the US it's almost like a regional thing or soft drinks or whatever you call them. Up here it's pretty much all of the above. But I find that more popular or the more lower priced ones almost have this like a syrup flavor to them. And when it comes to Pepsi I find the difference between diet and regular Pepsi to be extremely grand because pe regular Pepsi almost has this. I'm, I'm pretty sure, I, I can't say with 100% certainty, but I'm confident enough to use corn syrup like most of these manufacturer, manufacturers probably do. In regards to Pepsi, not only can I taste the corn syrup, I can feel it. But that might be because I never, well, me growing up in the religion slash cult I grew up in, I was the only soda I was allowed to drink was root beer. Well, I shouldn't say root beer, but anyway, I was allowed to drink soda, but nothing caffeinated. I was only allowed caffeinated because when I became a type 1 diabetic because, well, yeah, I go to a, to a restaurant, it's the only soda that diabetic friendly drinks they're going to have is either Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, or water. And despite my parents being extremely almost Fascistly religious, he understood that a kid is not going to want to be drinking water when they go to a restaurant, so he allowed me to have these caffeinated beverages now. So I pretty much grew up drinking nothing but the diet stuff, so maybe that's why I can sort of taste this extreme difference between 
regular in diet, but in regards to Pepsi, the difference is very noticeable, I find. Now, as I've stated before, I'm not a fan of cherry sodas. Those are some of the few offerings that are well, I didn't mind. A few of them I may have even liked. When it comes to Pepsi, I find all of a sudden I prefer Coca-Cola. I don't know if the recipe has changed, but I used to like Pepsi. Or prefer Pepsi. Now I prefer Coke. I don't know if it's a change in the recipe or my palate's changed over time, but I don't know. I'm not going to bother pouring this in a glass or what have you because, I mean, it's... Well, I mean, let's be honest, unless you're buying a 2 liter bottle, you're going to be drinking this straight from the bottle anyway, so... It does have a slight cherryness to it. I mean, it's nothing offensive, but it's... It would almost be better if it was, because there's... As far as the cherry aroma goes anyways, there is almost nothing there. Well, the taste is a little different. There is a cherry flavor. The cherry flavor that I can detect. I do not like, but that's more of a personal issue. I'm just not a fan of cherry, though I find my sort of cherry disgust is softening, but I don't know. Also, I feel a burp coming on. Come on. Come on. And I feel a sneeze coming on too. Both of which are teasing me. Anyways, for some reason I find with Pepsi I feel like I need to burp more than with Coke. And yet I'd have to taste them side by side, but I would think Coca-Cola would be more carbonated, so... Not sure why I feel, uh... Generally feel a greater desire to burp with Pepsi than... <coughs> well, that was pathetic. Then with Coke. I mean, I, it will be better if, that, if, if the cherry flavor I don't like was more pronounced, more there. Like, yeah, I wouldn't like this as much, but at least what they're more or less advertising would be... <coughs> that's better. would be more accurate because as far as the cherry flavor goes, not just cherry, wild cherry. What makes the cherry wild? I don't know unless there actually is a species. Would it be a species of plant? 
or species specifically regarding animals? Hmm. All of a sudden, my ignorance is showing. Pretty sure it's species, but I don't know if there is actually a species of cherry called wild cherry, but let's be honest here. It's unless there is a specific wild cherry plant. The wild cherry is not wild. It's grown in an orchard. I have been, I did buy this, uh, well over a couple hours ago, and it has not been in the fridge or refrigerator, but it is cold outside, as I said, we're in a cold snap right now, it was actually According to my phone, there is a snow warning in effect from Environment Canada, so... Why that is... I don't know, because it's a very light snow, and... It's ending tomorrow at... Last I checked, 7.42. So... <clears throat> Unless I'm just noticing that environmental is that Environment Canada puts out a warning every time there's even a light snowfall. I find it a bit ridiculous that they feel the need to say that. <clears throat> Blizzard, yes. Heavy snowfall, yes. Light snowfall, no. Don't get me wrong, there is snow on the ground. It'll probably be gone by not the end of this week, but by the middle of next, unless we get more snow later on. I don't know, it just seems, it just seems a bit ridiculous, but anyways, back to this. I feel like this video has gone on long enough. It's too long for that matter, so I feel like it's sort of wrapping it up now. Final rating. Um, usually when I have something like this where I don't personally like it, I sometimes will give two ratings, one personal, one professional. For this, the sort of difference between the personal and professional is Pretty much almost tied. <sighs> Forty nine. Forty nine. Below average. Is he regular? Is better. Yeah, Fox are advertising it as wild cherry, and it has, well, as I said, I don't like wild cherry, but, <coughs> oh, that felt a lot better. 
but because there's barely any cherry in it, it's not false advertising per se, but it is misleading advertising, which to me is a bit of a difference. Um, It's misleading because you see it. Anybody who buys this is probably going to want a hell of a lot more cherry than the cherries that's already in here. Now, there is cherry in here. Not for the person who will be attracted to this product. I don't see there being enough cherry. If you like cherry soda and you try this by all means leave your comments below. Because I, I can't speak for everybody and I definitely can't speak for people who won't like cherry soda because I usually don't. But I'm just guessing that due, just due to the fact that there's such a faint cherry flavor in here. It, be like, it will be like when I tried the vanilla cola. I was expecting a lot more vanilla and I got didn't get enough. Well, with this, I was expecting a lot more cherry even though I don't like cherry. But there's barely any cherry in here, so... I mean, it's present, but it's definitely not enough. Even to my standards as someone who doesn't like cherry soda usually, so... Would I recommend it? Actually, I'd have to say yeah. If it's the same price as a normal bottle of Pepsi, so you're not losing any money buying this, you're just sort of, I guess, losing expectations or what have you. <laughs> But I mean, unless you're paying more, if it's the same price, you might as well get it and try it for yourself. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, I'm done. I'm also tired and cold because I've been out. Well, I've been out since the mid-morning, and it's almost a quarter to six now. And it has been snowing, and it's been slushy where I am, because I live in a city. So yeah, my feet are freezing. Take care, everybody. Have yourselves a great day, and bye.